This week we provide another quarter four multi-species buyers update as we push through holiday season purchasing and prepare for Chinese New Year closures, all amidst a dramatic second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic sweeping through North America. Starting with salmon, the headed and gutted market for sockeye is becoming more scarce. Overall, sockeye harvest this year is considered low, with Alaska's 2020 season totaling 46.1 million sockeyes compared to their 2019 harvest of 55.5 million. Meanwhile, Canadian and Washington state fisheries continue to struggle to produce any salmon at all. With a strong fresh market and continued consumer demand, we don't believe there will be much headed and gutted sockeyes after December and two to four pound will remain short for the foreseeable future. In a November 13th press release, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game predicted a strong Bristol Bay specific sockeye run with returns of over 51 million fish, translating to a commercial harvest of 36.35 million fish. Bristol Bay is the largest producer of salmon in Alaska. The release also predicts nearly half of the fish to be the 1.2 age class sockeye, meaning the fish have spent one year in freshwater and two years in saltwater, while the remainder of the run to be 1.3. Aligning with new research that salmon are getting smaller, ADFG manager Tim Sands noted that larger runs do seem to be returning smaller fish. Moving on to chums and another poor harvest year out of British Columbia and Puget Sound, coined with a poor Alaska harvest of 8.7 million fish, have flipped the chum market on its head as we are seeing some of the highest prices we've seen in years, if not ever. Bright skin chums are extremely short right now, good meat color chums are limited as most landings have been producing dark pails. With Puget Sound's chum fishery essentially finished for the year, we recommend you start thinking about your future buys and the outlook of using another species. The market will hit a point where chums will be unavailable. Alaska typically produces about 20 million chums per year, a stark comparison to BC and Washington fisheries, which each typically see about a million chums harvested, but more recently have experienced steep declines since 2018. And lastly, on to halibut. As the 2020 Pacific halibut fishery comes to a close, 82% of the fishery limits have been landed producing 22.4 million pounds for the market. Despite a season that took place throughout the COVID-19 pandemic on a premium white tablecloth item, headed and gutted halibut and fletches will be short for the coming month. Halibut buyers that should have purchased all their needs before the season ended are about to find themselves in a predicament and may have to look for alternatives such as Atlantic halibut. Do keep in mind that the Canadian Pacific halibut fishery has its season extended for fishing until December 7th. With that being said, we urgently advise you to get your purchasing needs in now, long enough to get you through to Chinese New Year. For salmon, even Russian supply may soon be problematic, as recent analysis out of Russia's Fishery Research Institute reports that Pacific salmon catch in the far eastern basin is 100,000 tons lower than the 384,000 tons forecasted. This catch is being cited as the lowest catch rate since 2009. We also advise you to keep tuned in weekly to our market insights as we navigate this precarious time of year. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This has been Kyla Ganton reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.